This is where I left off with my cleanup the other day. I left some of the items outside because the intention of putting them back in here, but organizing them. Let me just open this now. Yep. This is how it looks like now. If you've seen the picture <laughs> or even the entire video of how I organized this pantry. This is a big change, right? Not for the better, unfortunately. So if you notice, if you've seen that video, I still use the containers. These are the containers that I have put in place. The right side is our baking pantry. The left, or this one here, because it's like an L shape, this one here. Uh, all of them are personal items or personal needs, not for the business. However, since we've slowed down with our baking, let me turn on the light here. We have not used a lot of these things. Oh, all the way up there. And things have been spilling onto this area here. So what I thought about doing is I'm going to keep this pantry just for our needs, for our personal, our family's pantry. And then since I have the KitchenAid here, which is our mixer for baking, I'm going to be using the cabinets here. I know it's not the same size, but at least the most important ones. And then anything that I can put somewhere else. I will do that because underneath here, these are also baking items. I'll show you this, our baking utensils and stuff like that. So I figured if I put them here, they're all in one place. They're not going to be mixed with our things. And then this will be just purely ours and probably those appliances that you see here they will have a place here, okay? So I'm gonna take this all out first and then I'll see you when I, I'm done. organization and I am almost tempted to show you what I have done so far I'm so excited about the way I am going to be organizing our items from now on so I'm really just going back to 
basics and making it simpler. So I'm just showing you this. This is my current, the current way or the way that I organize our noodles. See how hard it is to open. That's why sometimes it's kind of cumbersome and I have to take it out and pull it out. So because we cook noodles a lot, I have the overflow here. And more often than not, I only use this and the other types that I have organized here. There are times that they are neglected unless really I'm looking for something to cook and I'm rummaging through because of the fact that opening it is not that simple or easy anymore. Probably for, for younger individuals, but being realistic as folks age, you know, the, the limbs, the joints are no longer as as well oiled as before right so you know arthritis will kick in in a few years probably so i'm just going to show you what's in here and what i am concerned about is letting them expire I don't want to waste a good container so i'm just going to be moving the things from here to another container and then keep all the ones with the other list. items for organization inside the house Okay, here it is now, the reveal day. Took me about two full days to completely organize my pantry. So here it is. Ta -da! Okay, so it may not look the prettiest. Maybe it's not Instagram or Pinterest perfect, but it is very functional for us so what i've done here let me just explain you the zoning on this uh, pantry on the top here on the top left corner here i put in all of our breakfast cereals okay including oatmeal um and a couple of cereals here that i've emptied i don't need to put a label because it's very visible we know already this one is chocolate cereals this is an Oh, this is oatmeal and this is the strawberry cereals and behind this one is a container for the assorted cupcake liners on this side are snack trays our paper plates and also the paper bowls and then these are the disposable cups uh, for hot drinks and also some snacks this is where I organized the straws the plastic utensils for parties and so that they are just in one spot now those two large containers the one on top are just a uh, smaller containers to go containers and they're mostly just for condiments or soups if we have a get-together or party and people would want to bring home uh, food or leftovers they can use that and then this other deep or tall container at the bottom has some extra styrofoam bowls or extra dessert plates there that are made of styrofoam. I don't want to throw them away. I'm not a big fan of them. We've had them for quite some time now, but I could still use them when we have get-togethers or parties. And then on this side here, I just put in our, uh, you know, Ziploc freezer bags and then paper parchments. This is the um you know cling wraps as well as wax paper and behind that there's just a gadget there for barbecuing these are some to-go containers actually i use this when i'm doing freezer meals so i'm keeping them there and then there are two containers here at the bottom here this is a griller and oven aluminums in the previous setup they were here but I think this is more practical here near the opening of the door. So when we grab things and this is just the griller and oven aluminums. And this one doesn't fit because it's pizza pans that won't fit in the container. So I just put them on the side. On the basket here, these are just big food containers. These are the huge containers that again, if we have huge, uh, sometimes we make batch batches of foods. So that's why we need this big deep containers. And let me just show you what they are. They are the ones that you get from the Dollar Tree and also Walmart. 
Now below this are our canned goods. So these are the canned or bottled or uh, container goods. So um, we have the Nutella here, some evaporated milk, and then peanut butter, as well as our mayonnaise, the unopened one, because once you open them, you have to refrigerate them, so they're unopened. Um, just so you know, Nutella's and also peanut butter, they're best if they're not refrigerated after opening, and they even have them on the label like that, so in case you're wondering. And I have some other canned goods here. Don't have to enumerate each and every one of them, but they're in their respective areas. So what I do is I kind of group together the ones that make sense to be together. And there's no real rhyme or reason. What I've done here is I used two of these shelves that is a dollar each from the Dollar Tree. So I used a couple of them, so that cost me only a couple of bucks. And because we have the open shelves uh, wire shelves, not the solid wood. I used two of the Dollar Tree placemats so that when I use this, it doesn't go through the holes because there are some slats that are open here. Okay, so now this one is an attachment that I purchased from Daiso. It's a dollar fifty. So it just hooks onto this, and I just put here my small seasonings, and also this is where I'm going to be putting. Uh, the bigger batches of seasonings before I put them in the other containers. Now below it are spices and seasonings we use for cooking and here's my panko. I reused the jar for unsolded cashews and then uh, just wrote there panko. My husband actually labeled that and those are the unopened bottles of seasonings. Okay so there's ketchup there, there's soy sauce, and apple cider vinegar, and some unopened boxes of panko and tempura mix. And yeah, these are some more seasonings. Here are some dry goods. These are some dry beans. And these are some of our noris. I like using this container from the Dollar Tree because they're flat and shallow. So I haven't really fully eliminated containers in this pantry because some of them just needed to be in containers just like this nori here. But what I like about this one is it's clear enough that I could see inside what's in it and they're shallow enough that I don't stack them up one top of each other that the ones at the bottom I will totally forget. So two rows maybe three thin rows are enough so I still have two more containers these are the square ones the, the two other ones are the rectangular ones so I have two more containers that I can actually use we don't have to do labels here because you know again they're see-through you can see what they are on the third level here these are mostly just drink items like for example next quick here metamucil turmeric tea so we have assorted teas here as well, we have oolong and green tea, and we have some bottled water here. Okay, this side, these are snack items. So there are some sweets here too, chocolates, there are some madeleines, there are some popcorns here, nuts, and then also some, some cookies and sugar cones. And what I've done with this, instead of throwing away the containers and putting them in another organizer, I use the containers. I just cut them open and then I just pop them up. The reason why I did that is because it shows the brand and also it shows the expiration date as opposed to me putting them in another container and just relabeling them that way. In that way, I'm also reusing and not wasting this right away. So I'm just reusing them as my organizer. Same thing with the popcorn, same thing with the power bars. I've used their containers so that I know when they expire, I know what brand they are. And the only ones that we removed because it's a, we bought this from I think Costco, it came in a huge, huge box <laughs> that won't fit here. So space saving is using again a Dollar Tree container. What I like about this basket, it is 
not close okay it's not solid there's a lot of openings you can see even at the bottom and it's deep enough to hold everything all those assorted chips that we purchase now on this side here at the back if you could really pick through it there are a couple of big bags of sugar-free ricola and those are the candies we use we sometimes keep some in the car but we don't keep the bigger packages inside the car we keep them here and then when we're gonna replenish we pick up some here now these are some of the snacks uh, pringles this one and then some raisins some pecans sweet potatoes and then there's deeper chips deeper chips and then here on this level here are all noodles and grains okay so on the left side here this used to be hanging on here and now it's because it's wide open i used to have that solid container although it's a little see-through it is enclosed it has a top cover and i had thrown away probably two packs of noodles that were expired because they were not so easy to get to and it's so hard to open and as i have shown you in a snippet here where it's so hard to open the container top and especially for folks with you know problems with joints and stuff so yeah so this one at least we can see all of them and we'll try not to buy too much until we finished half of them at least and then we replenish and here's some of our pasta as well and then here are some maruchan noodles and chow mein noodles another instant cup of noodles here we have our quinoa brown rice and then there's a whole box here and open but we eat this regularly and we also have white rice i have a container that's still going to be delivered um, I ordered one and I'm going to be putting it here so that I can uh, use it for our brown rice okay because I buy them in a package and then we will put them in a dispenser and those are the chia seeds the um, couscous also some quinoa there and then risotto okay we don't store any big bulk items so these are all baking items here so from cocoa from baking soda as well as some cake mixes here cookie mixes and confectioner sugars sugar their brown sugar behind it this is the uh, white flour and there's a whole wheat flour behind it so that's how i kind of organize things so that i know okay there's a white sugar here but there's a brown sugar behind it and then there's a white flour but there's also a whole wheat flour behind it and that box is uh, going to have additional flour just in case we need to bake a lot now the bottom here side of is where we i put the first of all this hanging one it's okay for me to block that because that's just an appliance and this is where we can easily reach our bubble straws or smoothie straws and other drinking straws but i can remove this easily when i have to remove also or take out my george foreman griller and those are the parts for the griller and that's our ice appliance ice shaver what else do we have there yeah so these are now just the counter appliances in the boxes where i also labeled them the food processor the juicer extractor have another smoothie maker behind that which i labeled on top and on the side so i know which one it is and there are some kitchen aid accessories here because my kitchen aid mixer is still by the refrigerator okay now some alcohols here not for our consumption or drinking but for baking and there's a bottle of molasses and there are two pet snacks jars here for cloud and here are some of smaller kitchen gadgets like the hand mixer and some of the accessories for some of the mixers there this one here this isn't really for a pantry but my husband bought me this and this is actually for filing <laughs> it's a filing cart you know so where you put the hanging file folders but i figured i don't really need it so what i told him we're gonna use it here in the kitchen so this is where we're gonna put the 
uh, you know, potatoes and onions because they shouldn't go into the refrigerator. And also a bag for to-go boxes that are for my mother-in-law because they shouldn't go into our organization because oftentimes we just put them haphazardly somewhere and it makes things kind of a little messy and look the side here where you can put folders we use it for our grocery bags the reusable one and yeah so that next time we visit her we're already bringing her items and this one because it has wheel casters then we can already pull it out if needed so yeah on the door and on my other uh, video which I'm linking it here too I have three baskets to this two and then this one here I replaced this one with this one which is from the Dollar Tree and now we have a place for our bread okay so I've even put this Daiso one hanging over it with the hook it's removable and it's sturdy enough so I also put some of the bread overflow that we have to eat first before we go to these other ones here and then in the middle, I have smaller food containers for our leftovers. And I separated the containers from the lids. So they're all here. And this is, again, from Daiso. So I just hook it up here so they're together. And on the third one are the opened um, the open chips for snacks. And this one may not be open, but I'm pretty sure this will be open pretty soon. And this is for the huge bags of chips. Okay? So that's it for our food pantry for the family. And let me show you what I've done with the baking side, the Jesse Cakes project side. So I used this cupboard. I don't know how I fit them there, but I did. <laughs> I did throw away a lot of our ingredients, sprinkles and candy melts that are already expired and not being used. And I kept the ones that are still good they're not expired and we can still use and i have my piping bags here and piping tips and some of my gadgets for baking and those are some of the flavorings next to those jars those canning jars from walmart a dozen i think was just like less than ten dollars so i put all the colorful candy wafers or the candy melts for making cake pops or uh, truffles and all these others are the decorations for cupcakes and even cake pops and cakes, sprinkles, and even food colorings here. And there are more sprinkles here. And then here are some of those that were melting chocolate and vanilla. And there are the chocolate wafers that we got from Winkle. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's it. Again, just want to show you. This is a more functional one, and my husband and daughter are so happy that they know where things are. And it's not just only me, and they're going to ask me, oh, where are the items? And they can walk into this walk-in pantry. This is Josie again from Life at 50 and Beyond, thanking you for joining me here on my channel. Please click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification button so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Let me know what you think about this new system that I have. And like I said, it doesn't have to be picture perfect. It has to be practical for the family. And I will give you an update if it's working well and it's not going to be messy. And as time goes by. Okay, so hope everyone is having a great day. Leave some comments down below. Click like so that this community will grow. It helps the community grow. And talk to you again in my next video. Bye-bye.